Meet Jack Bellamy. He's 88 years young. This is Jack in the Rack, polling tuna for the final time. An incredible feat for his age. Jack has caught thousands of tuna. He was there when the fishery began. I'm one of the first polers and I'm still one of the last ones and uh, I'm still polling go around the trips and for a week or so and catch tuna and organise the meals for the people who come on board. And... But he's polled his last fish. So I said to Greg, Come on, this is my last pile trip. Get in the rack with me, he's hopping in the rack, he's bloody hell. He's like, oh, I see why you're a bloody good tuna fisherman, Jack. <laughs> we're on the rack there, and the fish I was just bite, and I says, that's enough. I said, come on, Greg, let's get another two or three before we get out of the rack. He said, it's a good idea. They come to me and hop out of the rack, and we get to turn it out straight to length. The Tacoma has a special place in his heart. He and his twin Keith were 10 when the Haldane family began building the Tacoma. I lived in Port Perry and I only lived two houses away from the weather building the boat. I look out my kitchen window and you can see the boat being built. The process took seven years. Haldane's asked me to come away with them on the boat to South Australia. It was the start of a 70-year love affair for Jack. The twins helped pioneer commercial tuna polling. It's now a multi-million dollar export industry. But it came at a heavy cost. Keith was pulled off the back of the boat by a big tuna. His body was never recovered. The little twin brother and everything is, uh, he wasn't very nice, but uh, that's a part of life, and you've got to put it behind her and just keep on with it, you know, keep going. Safety harnesses were introduced. Jack has spent his retirement years back on the Tacoma. Volunteers keep it running. Jack spent time in the engine room but is happiest in the galley with his Arga coke-fired stove. I lived 15 years on the bar before I was married, and that was my home. That was a good home. We had an Arga stove in the galley there, run 24 hours a day on coke, and it kept the boat lovely and warm, and uh, it, was a, it was a lovely home. The Arga is stoked to take tourists fishing. Jack cooks on the women's fishing trips. Catching tuna is not about brute strength. Reflexes. The tuna's on that water. You see it coming up. He comes up for that lure. You've got to be on the out way with him up. Back in the water. Same thing again. Drop the lure in the water. I see Greg on the pole. I said, don't put that lure in the water until you're ready. She's been what? Got her. So that's the secret. Your reflexes and working with your partner too. The same time, up, hit the fish, up, and through, out, in another one. Well, we had our good trips, we had our rough trips too, you know. So we've done my last trip, pulled my last tuna, and that was it. <laughs> Hanging up your pole. Hanging up your pole, yep.
<laughs> Make me die.